Natalie, where are you? <coughs> hey, I'm at the venue, but nobody's here. I asked one of the staff who said your wedding was yesterday. I rechecked the invitation. It says the right place and date. What's going on? Hey, answer me. Sorry, I just landed at the airport. At the airport? Why are you there? Isn't today your wedding? My bad! I totally forgot to update you about the changes. <laughs> what changes? So, yeah, the original plan was to have the wedding today. But something urgent came up. We shifted the date to yesterday. I told the other guests. But, you know, I kind of forgot about you. <laughs> what the heck? So, where are you now? I'm in the Bahamas! Bahamas? Enjoying my honeymoon with my darling. I'm really sorry. <laughs> you took the day off for this and wasted time. Well, might as well make the most of it. Maybe hit up a nearby national park or do some random sightseeing on your way back. It might feel lonely to hit the hiking trail solo, though. <laughs> you did it on purpose, didn't you? Huh? It seems like you didn't contact only me. Oops! I'm busted! <laughs> I knew it. Seriously? Poor you! Not even a heads up from mom and dad about the change. I have no expectations of them. They've always favored you over me. Guess they don't think of me as their daughter. I haven't really had a proper chat with them for years. That's probably because you're not as sweet as me, don't you think? Sure, you're good at studying and working, but you should put effort into being more lovable. I wanted to be loved by them when I was young. But no matter how hard I tried, it felt futile. I gave up on that. They only had eyes for you. Getting out of the house as soon as I could and living alone was the best decision. It's pretty sad, huh? <laughs> I know you're a nuisance to the family. I pleaded with my boss during the busiest times at work to get time off and celebrate with you. It all went to waste, thanks to you. Seriously, this is a crazy mean stunt you pulled here. Mean? On the other hand, it's done out of my kindness, you know. Kindness? I chose not to invite you to the wedding for your sake. What do you mean for my sake? I thought if you came, you might have gone crazy out of the shock. Me? Going crazy? I don't get it at all. Just tell me the real reason, please. Do you even realize who I married? Nope, never met him. That's impossible. It's someone you know well. Who? I actually married your fiancé. <laughs> what? Too bad. I stole him from you. He thought I was a better choice. <laughs> What on earth are you talking about? Fiancé? Oh, please. No need to try saving your face. Haven't you lost touch with him lately? You got dumped because he chose me instead. He thinks a younger, more beautiful sister is better than a plain older woman in her 30s. I'm telling you, I don't have a fiancé. The name on the invitation you sent me, I don't recognize it at all. Actually, I changed the groom's name only on your invitation. What? Well, I didn't want you to figure out that he was marrying me, so I kept it secret until the last minute to surprise you. Wow, that's just ridiculous. You went to the extent of altering the groom's name just to mess with me. But then I felt bad for you. I suddenly changed the wedding date so you couldn't make it. You wouldn't want to see him all cozy with me, right? See, I'm so considerate, ain't I? Not really. And again, I don't have a fiancé. Come on, just accept reality. He's now with me. Yeah, sure. 
I don't know what fantasy world you're living in, but I'm done discussing this. I'll just go sightseeing or something on my way back. By the way, what's the real name of the groom? Come on, you know already. Just spit it out. Okay, Owen Connor. Wait, that Owen? See, he's your fiancé, right? He's younger than you and super good-looking like a model. It's such a waste on a plain older woman like you. <laughs> Even mom and dad say he suits me better. Oh, really? I see. So, now that you know his name, is reality sinking in yet? Yeah, I guess I'm starting to figure it out a bit. Listen, I don't want to be too negative right after your wedding, but maybe reconsider your marriage. What are you talking about now? <laughs> Trying to split us up won't work, you know. We're madly in love. Yeah, you might be now, but it's going to be a huge problem later. Wait, are you threatening to sue us or something? No, that's not what I meant. I actually don't care. No suing between sisters. He says he prefers me, so just let it go. No, that's not what I'm trying to tell you. I get that losing him hurts, but no matter how much you protest, it won't change his feelings. I want you to gracefully accept it, be a big-hearted sister, and bless our marriage. No, listen to my side of the story. I don't want to hear a lecture from a jealousy-crazed woman. If you start demanding we break up or threaten to sue, it'll ruin our honeymoon. Well then, I'll bring you a souvenir from the Bahamas, okay? Catch you later! Wait, Natalie. <coughs> Ugh, suit yourself. Don't come crying to me later. Hey, Diana. Just got back from the honeymoon. I'll swing by with my love to pass you the souvenir, so look forward to that. When are you usually home? How about Sunday? Hey, Diana. Don't tell me you're still upset. Ignoring me on purpose, huh? Well, I guess losing your fiancé to your little sister can be a shock. <laughs> You'll probably spend your life just working and feeling lonely. But I'll make up for it by being double happy for you. So forgive me, okay? <coughs> Diana! For God's sake, answer the phone! Ah, uh, you're annoying this early in the morning? What's up? Early? It's past 8 a.m. It's my day off, and I want to sleep in. This can't wait. What is it? I don't know what to do. So, tell me, what happened? A strange woman called me. Okay, and... She yelled at me, threatening to turn my life into a living nightmare. I've never met, let alone heard of this woman. Why do I have to be threatened by a stranger? This is why I told you to reconsider the marriage the other day. What do you mean? I don't get it. Owen was your fiancé, right? Nope. I told you I didn't have one. Liar. I know you used to be in a relationship with him. Indeed, that was a time when he was my fiancé. We've long split. Technically, he's my ex-fiancé. Ex? Yeah, I got fed up with him and called off the engagement. What happened? He cheated on me. While we were engaged, he was dating another woman. At that time, I was already getting tired of his cheating habits, so I decided to just let him go. Plus, he was making less money than me. No way! You never told me you guys broke up! Mom and Dad also thought he was your fiancé, you know? Why would I bother to tell you guys? Mom and Dad were never interested in my marriage anyway. 
When I got engaged to Owen, they seemed not to care at all. As for you, we never got along, right? We don't even keep in touch often. That's why I didn't think I needed to tell you guys about our breakup. Jeez! Sounds like he messed up again this time, too. He made promises to marry someone else while being engaged to you. Was I being too timed? Uh-huh. What a jerk! Why did he even say he wanted to marry me if he was already engaged to someone else? What on earth are you talking about? Come on, you're not any different. <laughs> you thought he was engaged to me and still married him. I thought it would be fine since it was you. I thought you'd understand and forgive me. Well, too bad. His real fiancé must be furious by now. Wait, do you know her? Of course I do. He was cheating on me with her while we were engaged. By the way, she's the same age as me. Oh my god. So then he was talking about her when he mentioned a 30-something old lady. Pretty rude calling a 32-year-old an old lady, don't you think? So how did she find out about us getting married? Don't tell me you snitched. I considered spilling the beans, but it looks like that wasn't necessary. What do you mean? Turns out, someone at your wedding posted pictures on social media. She found out that way. Ugh. God damn it. I thought I stole your fiancé, but you were already broken up. And now I'm being threatened by a woman I don't even know? I'm afraid to ask, but did you pick him because he was my fiancé? Obviously! I always wanted to be on top compared to you. I'm better looking and loved by mom and dad. You getting ahead of me was unacceptable. Plus, he's a total hottie. It's outrageous to see a plain woman like you getting such a good-looking guy. That's just... unbelievable. So you didn't marry him out of love? If I knew the truth, I wouldn't have married him. He's hot, but he doesn't even have a job. Huh? Jobless? When did he stop working? Just recently, thinking he'd eventually inherit the company dad's running. But dad just turned 60. He's not planning to retire anytime soon, right? I thought the same and stopped him. He said he managed to marry the daughter of a business owner, so he didn't want to hustle now. He plans to stay at my parents' house and do random part-time jobs until he takes over the company. So he's already handed in his resignation. Oh, wow. He's pretty optimistic even though he's not sure if that would happen. But hey, he chose you, right? It'd be best if you guys just gracefully apologize to the other woman and move on happily. Then, can you lend me some money? For what? I think it's better to pay her off, but I don't have that kind of money. We just had the wedding and splurged on the honeymoon. Both of us are flat broke now. And as I said, he no longer has any income. Then you go and work hard. It's impossible with just my salary. You're single and holding a high position at the big company. You must have some financial flexibility. Even if I had the means, I'm not willing to lend a single penny. Why do I have to bail you guys out? Come on, I'll definitely pay you back. No way. Figure it out yourselves. Stingy. Fine. I won't rely on you anymore. I don't consider you family anyway. Listen, Diana, I can't do this anymore. Oh, Natalie, what's up all of a sudden? Haven't heard from you in a while. I'm broke and I can't make ends meet. Oh no, that's rough. You're saying it like it's someone else's problem. Aren't you worried about your little sister? We're family, so help me out. Wait, what? You're the one who said you don't see me as family. And didn't you also say you wouldn't rely on me? Forget all that. Owen's still unemployed. 
My salary is all gone paying the debts. If this continues, we might end up homeless. But you guys live at our parents' place. Even if you're poor, you won't be without a home, right? That's the thing! We might have to sell the house. What? Dad's business went under. Oh dear. Well, I knew it wasn't doing well for a while. It finally went bankrupt, huh? Owen's disappointed about not becoming the CEO of a company. Lately, he hasn't even been going to his part-time job. When he married you, he thought he'd inherit the business. Guess he was aiming for the high life. But it seems he didn't check the state properly. You know what he said? He married me not because he loved me, but because Dad was the CEO. Yeah, I'm sure. Even when we were engaged, he was after the company. But you married him thinking he was my fiancé, right? I don't think you can blame him entirely. Anyway, I have a favor to ask. What? If it's about money, I'm not lending any. No, it's not about money. Can we move in with you? What the heck? I mean, you live alone in that big apartment, right? Since there are plenty of rooms, it shouldn't be a big deal if the entire family moves in. Um, I'm not sure. Actually, you should be happy about having us with you. I'm sure it's more fun to have us around than living in solitude. I'll help with the chores, so let's live together. That's not possible. Why not? I know you're lonely. You don't need to put on a strong face, you know. I'm not alone, but two of us now. Two of you... I didn't tell you guys, but I'm planning to get married soon. You're kidding! You're getting married? Yeah. You said you didn't have a fiancé. That was over half a year ago. Right after you got married, I started seeing the CEO of one of our company's business partners. The CEO? Well, his company isn't that big, though. He's five years older than me, and he understands I'm not close with my family. He's okay with not having a wedding and simply getting it done at the city hall. So, we're living in my apartment together now. Wow! You're marrying a CEO! I plan to keep working, though. He's good at housework and initiates it. He's my ideal husband. What about us, then? How will we live if we lose the house? That's not my concern. You guys should figure something out together. Totally unfair. It's all about you always being unfair. Excuse me? I'm stuck with an unemployed husband and parents who are about to lose their house. Yet here you are, marrying a CEO and being happy. That's so unfair. Well, that's the consequence of your actions. You're so cold to your family. You all have been neglecting me all this time. Asking for help and pretending to be a family all of a sudden is just audacious. Please, I'll apologize for everything. Let us move in with you. And please give us some money. I'm telling you I don't want to. Well, bye. Wait! <laughs> Please, I'm begging you, help! My parents ended up selling the house, and four of them moved into a small apartment. They believed it was the kids' duty to take care of their aging parents and didn't try to work. Owen lost all motivation to work after not becoming a CEO. In the end, only Natalie could support the family. As a result, the four of them ended up living in extreme poverty. Living like that makes people bitter, I guess. They're blaming each other, saying, It's your fault we ended up in such a miserable situation. Meanwhile, I recently got married and we're having a blast in our newlywed life. We're currently residing in an apartment, but planning to build our own home soon. We've been excitedly brainstorming the layout and all. Unfortunately, there aren't any good memories from the home I grew up in. But my in-laws love me as if I were their daughter. I want to cherish this new family from now on. 
Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.